Hey everybody, life treating you good, this is Beat for One Big Games, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All for the Nintendo DS. Last time, we went ahead and we actually was able to, we, actually, we were actually able to talk to Little Miss Pearls, or Pearly, I think I call her Pearly Whirly, Twirly, Pearly, I don't know, I don't remember what I called her, but yeah. We talked to her, and uh, we also grabbed a little object from Maya in the episode prior to that. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely go check them out, especially watch both of them. Uh, because now, we're finally able to, in the last episode, we were also able to figure out what the hell that does. So now, let us continue. <laughs> I don't remember if we checked this box here or not. Oh yeah, we did. Okay. Um, then let's move. I believe we still have Pearl with us, if I'm not mistaken. If she was in our, if she was actually in our friggin' uh, <laughs> in our evidence of it's so funny. Oh, I thought there was gonna be more than that. Okay, age eight, female, obviously. Maya's cousin, a channeling prodigy with the intense spiritual power, also the youngest. Yes, she is. Okay. Let's go to the meditation room and see if anything has changed. Nope. Oh, I better shut my mouth, pal. Oh, uh, what? I'm not gonna give you any information about evidence, pal. Oh. Okay. Oh wait, what about the key? So about this key? Hey, is that your house key or something, pal? Come on, does this look like a house key to you? Then what's it for? It's... Huh, actually, I should probably keep that a secret. It's my bicycle key. Oh, nothing special, huh? Why would a bicycle key ever look like that, detective? Come on, man. Ah, sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. June twentieth, Korean Village. Mr. Nick. Hmm. What's wrong? I have never left Korean Village. Really? Wow. That's um pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mr. Meyer, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait. She ran off. Again. Well, I know any secret now, but. I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face. <sighs> oh well. Come on, pal. Just buck up and get your butt in there. So let's go. June 20th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. What am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. Wait. What? It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? Wait. That voice! Oh, Mia! Even without me being here, it looks like you learned to stand on your own. Oh my. Mia! She's Maya's old. Ah, she's Maya's older sister, and my mentor. Oh, she was a top-notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. That's messed up. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. <gasps> A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, Espe and especially when it's bad. Mia. You can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. B but... So tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister is in a lot of trouble again. Oh, uh, well yeah, so what happened was... Da -da this and this and that and da -da -da. I told her everything about what has happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes, deep in thought, while she listened. Oh. I see. Mia, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. 
And that is? Tell me, please. Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. Uh, can you be more specific? You think Ma's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. Y yes? Mediums can't have dreams. Can't have dreams? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she says she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what does this mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A set up? It's up to you to blow the lid off this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. Evidence. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. I it is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix, you already hold the key. Oh, the black key, of course. Really? Come on, show me the key to this case. The key, huh? Alright, I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Let's do it. Come on now. Let's show her the black key that we got. Yeah. There you go. Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, uh, the key. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. I got the keys to the keys to the keys. I got the keys to the keys to the keys. This key? Me uh, I almost said Mia, listen. Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However, it shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but! How could I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have... At the time, I didn't know. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. Oh god. Ho! Oh. Mia! What? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the Cyclops. There's three. Which means, Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me. What in the world is going on? Oh, that was the to-be-continued part? Okay. To-be-continued! <laughs> June 21st, 9.48 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. But if she has those psych locks, that means that she's still gonna be with us, right? Oh, never mind. What?! Prosecutor Von Karma? Do you mean... No, I heard it's his successor this time. Successor? Hmm. My friend Von Karma. He was a real, he was a really sinister man. He pulled all sorts of nasty tricks, all so he could win. None of which we have, were able to really see because the, uh, because of what happened with the last game. But uh, that's besides the point. He was a man obsessed with the word perfection. He had a perfect record for 40 long years. <laughs> Who knows what sorts of dirty tricks he used to get each of those guilty verdicts. And now his successor. I wonder what kind of person they will turn out to be. It's no good. Mystic... Oh. Mystic Maya! Pearly! You showed up! Thanks for coming all this way! I was really worried about you. Hey, where's your mother? Didn't you two come together? Mother is watching over the trainees. She said they have training for two days straight with no breaks. Huh? Then, but you came all by yourself? Yep, I snuck out of the manor and found a map. Don't tell me you walked all the way here. Of course not. I ran. <laughs> oh my, if it takes two hours for a train, oh man. Pearly, what about the train? Huh? What's a train? I give up. <laughs> it's time, isn't it? Um, I'm really scared. 
What if Von Karma tries to do something to me? At least I know Mr. Edgeworth would be nicer to me than Von Karma. Mr. Edgeworth? Who is that? Um, he's the ex-rival. Well, he's also a friend. Oh. I still remember him as if I had just seen him only yesterday. Wait for it. Every trial was a scorching fierce battle until the very end. OBJECTION! He was always back and forth with them, but when you're rivals for life- Maya! Please don't mention that name ever again. Huh? But why, Nick? I'm- I'm sorry, Maya. I forgot you don't know. He- he's- he's gone. And he's not coming back. What? But, but, but wait, wait a second. What's that supposed to mean? Court will commence shortly. Please proceed into the courtroom. Let's go. Now's not the time to talk about that anyway. Phoenix, your ass better get talking soon, boy. Cause I don't understand what the hell you're talking about, dude. What do you mean Edward's gone? Explain. N Nick? Explain. I need explanations. Come on. June 21st, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. He's all in his feelings about it, too. Like, calm down. Court, now we're searching for the trial of my affair. Are the prosecution and the defense prepared? Hmm. What is with this girl? <clears throat> Mr. Wright, are you finally prepared? Huh? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Why does he always seem mad at me? Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh. You must be a little shocked because I am a woman, correct? Hold on, so this kid is the famed Prosecutor Von Karma? I am Francisca Von Karma, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge! Revenge? Is this about her father, my Manfred Von Karma? Um, if it's something of a personal nature, I'm sure you can- Ow! I'm talking! If you interrupt again, my whip would do the speaking for me! Please speak with your mouth like a normal person. I beg of you. Yeah! Make no mistake, I will defeat you. Prepare to go down, Mr. Phoenix Wright! Prosecutor Von Karma, open excitement, please! Those of Von Karma blood have only one fate, and that is perfection. The defendant in my affair will find no escape from a guilt on my watch. Very well. What is the defense position? Your Honor, does the defense wish to enter a plea of not guilty? Yes. Foolishly fool, foolish fool, foolishly dreams of foolish dreams. <laughs> yes. Yes, my karma. Yes. I'm so glad. Ten minutes. I give the defense ten minutes before I change his plea. You're like your father. Stop it. That's right. I'll have you running for the justified self-defense plea in no time. You know what? I will be down for that. Maybe. I don't know. And that's, you know what? That is a lesser crime, but at the same time. Justify self defense? A plea usually reserved for when a person unintentionally kills in defense of himself. We could very easily make a solid case that it was self defense, but. The defense stands by the plea of not guilty, Your Honor. Because to plead justify self defense is just to say you did kill someone. <laughs> how foolish! If that is how you want to play it, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I shall now call the first witness. She's just as scary as her father. Like father, like daughter, I suppose. Ah, uh, pal. Help me, pal. Witness, your name and occupation? Yes, sir. My name is Dick Gumshoe. I'm a detective at the local precinct, pal. <laughs> ah! Get to the point already. Explain to the court the details of this murder. Yes, sir. Um, if everyone would please look at this map, pal. The channeling chamber has no windows, and the door was locked shut. At the time of the murder, only the victim and the defendant were in the room. What were they doing in there? Um, they, well, they were channeling a spirit, sir. Channeling a spirit? The look of disbelief on the judge's face is... <clears throat> anyway, a few minutes after the channeling started, gunshots were heard coming from the inside of the room, sir. Three other witnesses broke the door down and rushed into the room. 
Ah, oh, that's when they found that that victim was already dead, correct? Hmm, I believe this is one of the most open and shut cases I've ever presided over. Full of plans added to the court record. So how was the victim killed? I was about to get to that. If it would let me talk. Stop wasting my time then! That is, I have... My... I, I wish I could do a better accent than that, because that, that is actually the worst accent I've ever done. Even though I've said that about a few others, that is probably the worst accent I could ever do for Francisca. But you know what? I try. And that's all that matters. And right click. The right cause of death was a pistol shot to the forehead, sir. The shot was fired from point blank range. But before the victim was shot, sir, he was stabbed in the chest. The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause instantaneous death. The murderer used the pistol to, visit to, uh, to finish the victim off after the stabbing! Pal? Hmm. So the victim was stabbed before being shot. This is the victim's autopsy report, sir. The court accepts this under evidence. Mr. Roy, you may question a witness. As if Detective Gumshoe isn't always the first witness. Well, he's not always, but you, you know what I mean. Murder weapon, Detective Gumshoe. Whose pistol was it? Actually, you know what? I'm, I think I'm wrong. I think Detective Gumshoe is actually the first one, because he always has to present the facts, and then everyone else weighs in their their side of everything. So yeah, I think he is actually the first uh, witness, always. Right? Yeah. 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 I think so. It was the victims, pal. The victim? Now why would he have- Objection! That's her voice? There's no way. Why would he have a pistol? Who cares? The point that you are missing is whose fingerprints are on that pistol. If you're not already paying attention to that, then I suggest you start. Fingerprints? There were fingerprints? Along with the victims. The defendant, my face, were also on the grip, sir. <laughs> hmm. So the defendant's fingerprints were left on the murder weapon. He does this all the time! Stop it! <laughs> I walked right into her hands there. So I'm trying to point blank range. I mean, I get it, he's trying to, like, emphasize that point, but come on, man. We're reading the same thing you're reading. Come on, man. Point blank, huh? So, about how far away was it? He was anywhere between 12 to 20 inches away. And how do you know he was shot at point blank? Tis, tis, tis. Mr. Phoenix, right? I grow tired of the foolish. Of the foolish foolery of the foolish fools of this foolish country. Excuse me? Gunpowder burn. Gunpowder burn. When something is shot from point blank, a burn area is left around the bullet hole. Gunpowder exploding is what makes a bullet fire, and that gun that gets real hot, pal. And there were definitely some gunpowder burns left on the victim's forehead. Wow. Never knew that. Live and learn, I guess. Living on the edge of tomorrow! My water victim was shot, sir. He was stabbed in the chest. Stab? And what was he stabbed with? A fruit knife. I see. And whose knife was it? It looks like it belongs to the face, sir. And of course, my face fingerprints are all over it. All over it, huh? I don't know why I got loud that time. Arr, this does not look good. <laughs> what will you do now, Mr. Phoenix Knight? The wound was very severe, but not enough to cause an instantaneous death. How severe was the wound? If I had, if I had been a half an inch more to the right, it would have hit the victim's heart, pal. Jeez, after a stab like that, it's impossible to fight back, let alone stand. The testimony makes Maya look like she had stabbed him with the intent to kill. No matter I used a pistol to finish the victim off after the stabbing, pal! Are you sure you were stabbed first, then shot? Yep, sure as sure can be. One look at the wounds and you come to the same conclusion too, pal. A fool is a fool who will only listen to the foolish opinions of the other foolish fools. A pistol shot to the forehead at point blank is certainly enough to kill instantaneously. Instantly. Does it matter, then, which was first? Take a little more before you open that big mouth of yours, Mr. Phoenix, right? Ah, what a pain. 
That's enough! We have clearly established how the victim was murdered. I brought the two murder weapons with me today. Very well. The court accepts them into evidence. Okay, the pistol. And the knife. I'm sorry, I thought I heard I thought I heard my little sister crying. I was about to run out there. The dated time of death was June 19th at 3.15 p.m. Eyewitnesses claim to have heard two gunshots at this time. And the two murder weapons, both with the defendant's fingerprints on them. Hmm. This does seem like an open or shut case. Naturally. This is going from bad to worse. As if the summary just now wasn't oversimplifying things to the extreme. Your Honor, feel free to slam that little gavel of yours. After all, there is no room left for doubt, is there? That's quite true, Mr. Wright. Y yes. Even in the face of all this, you still wish to plead not guilty. It is the opinion of this court that if you do not adjust your plea, you stand to lose. See? Just as I promised, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You would change your plea in less than ten minutes. What will you do, Mr. Wright? Will you change to justify self-defense? Because now will be the time to do so. This is your final chance. This is a huge decision. I better think this through all the way. In the next episode. Because, oh my god, that is so... <laughs> that is a huge freaking thing to lay on me right there. But, uh... I feel like that's a perfect time to end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Phoenix Right Easy Journey Just for All, episode number 9. If you guys enjoyed. Uh... I don't... You know what? I was about to say, leave a like on the video, but I mean, like I always say, it's not up to me whether you guys like the video or not, it's up to you. If you guys liked it, you can go ahead and leave a like on the video, I'm not gonna tell you to leave a like. Uh, I don't know, I don't I don't feel like it's necessary to leave a like for that kind of stuff. I mean, other people, you know, bigger channels, they do that, you know, because they want to make sure that people actually watch their content, which is fine. You know, as long as they make content that people can enjoy, that's okay. For me, I make content that I like, and if you guys like it, then that's a bonus for me. If you guys watch it and all that stuff, you know. If you don't watch it, well, that's uh, that's fine. I mean, the video's still gonna go up on there either way. Like, the Max Payne stuff, I know I took out, uh, freaking, um... I freaking took out the entire LP of, uh... What was that game? That one game we played last year for Horror Month... I took that down, but I'm literally gonna, if I ever play it again, I'm literally gonna upload it and keep it on there. Because you never know, there might be someone later on who just happens to hop by the channel and they decide to watch the whole entire LP. You never know. Uh, but uh, for now, I will leave you all until the next episode. Peace.